Hello, welcome to the PARS Health TV channel. We hope you're having a good day and you are happy and healthy. In this channel, we give you tips to keep you healthy and out of trouble. In this video, we want to talk about what triglyceride is and how you can lower your triglyceride. This video is for educational purposes only and if you have any specific condition or illness, you should consult with your doctor. If you've been keeping an eye on your blood pressure and cholesterol levels, there's something else you might need to monitor. Your triglycerides. Triglycerides are a type of fat, lipid, found in your blood. When you eat, your body converts any calories it doesn't need to use right away into triglycerides. The triglycerides are stored in your fat cells. Later, hormones release triglycerides for energy between meals. If you regularly eat more calories than you burn, particularly from high-carbohydrate foods, you may have high triglycerides. Having a high level of triglycerides in your blood can increase your risk of heart disease. But the same lifestyle choices that promote overall health can help lower your triglycerides, too. What's considered normal? A simple blood test can reveal whether your triglycerides fall into a healthy range. Normal, less than 150 mg per deciliter, or less than 1.7 millimoles per liter. Borderline high, 150 to 199 mg per deciliter, 1.8 to 2.2 millimoles per liter. High, 200 to 499 milligrams per deciliter, 2.3 to 5.6 millimoles per liter. Very high, 500 milligrams per deciliter or above, 5.7 millimoles per liter or above. Your doctor will usually check for high triglycerides as part of a cholesterol test, which is sometimes called a lipid panel or lipid profile. If a person's triglyceride levels are too high, they have a higher risk of certain diseases and disorders. High triglyceride levels play a role in cardiovascular diseases, such as coronary artery disease and atherosclerosis. High triglyceride levels may have this effect because they can cause a buildup of plaque in the arteries. Plaque is a combination of cholesterol, triglyceride fats, calcium, cellular waste, and fibrin, which is the material that the body uses for clotting. Plaque buildup increases the risk of heart disease as it blocks the normal flow of blood in the arteries. Plaque may also break off to form a clot, which could cause a stroke or heart attack. Triglyceride and cholesterol levels are two of the most important factors to monitor for a healthy heart. There is also a risk of damage to the pancreas if triglyceride levels get too high. If you like topics like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to see daily videos just like this one. Alright, let's get started. There are many ways to reduce triglyceride levels safely. The best method may depend on the cause of the high triglyceride levels. 1. Lose some weight. Whenever you eat more calories than you need, your body turns those calories into triglycerides and stores them in fat cells. That's why losing weight is an effective way to lower your blood triglyceride levels. Research has shown that losing even a modest 5 to 10% of your body weight can decrease blood triglycerides by 40 mg per deciliter, 0.45 millimoles per liter. 2. Limit your sugar intake. Added sugar is a big part of many people's diets. Hidden sugar commonly lurks in sweets, soft drinks, and fruit juice. Extra sugar in your diet is turned into triglycerides, which can lead to an increase in blood triglyceride levels, along with other heart disease risk factors. Even replacing sugar-sweetened beverages with water could decrease triglycerides. 3. Follow a low-carb diet. Much like added sugar, extra carbs in your diet are converted into triglycerides and stored in fat cells. Not surprisingly, low-carb diets have been linked to lower blood triglyceride levels. Following a low-carb diet can lead to a significant reduction in blood triglyceride levels, especially when compared to a low-fat diet. 4. Eat more fiber. Fiber is found in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Other good sources of fiber include nuts, cereals, and legumes. Including more fiber in your diet can decrease the absorption of fat and sugar in your small intestine, helping to lower the number of triglycerides in your blood. 5. Exercise regularly. Good HDL cholesterol has an inverse relationship with blood triglycerides, meaning that high levels of HDL cholesterol can help lower triglycerides. 
Aerobic exercise can increase levels of HDL cholesterol in your blood, which can then lower blood triglycerides. Examples of aerobic exercise include walking, jogging, bicycling, and swimming. 6. Avoid trans fats. Artificial trans fats are a type of fat added to processed foods to increase their shelf life. Trans fats are commonly found in commercially fried foods and baked goods made with partially hydrogenated oils. Due to their inflammatory properties, trans fats have been attributed to many health problems, including increased bad LDL cholesterol levels and heart disease. Eating trans fats can also increase your blood triglyceride levels. 7. Eat fatty fish twice weekly. Fatty fish is well known for its benefits on heart health and ability to lower blood triglycerides. This is mostly due to its content of omega-3 fatty acids, a type of polyunsaturated fatty acid that is considered essential, meaning you need to get it through your diet. Salmon, herring, sardines, tuna, and mackerel are a few types of fish that are especially high in omega-3 fatty acids. 8. Limit alcohol intake. Alcohol is high in sugar and calories. If these calories remain unused, they can be converted into triglycerides and stored in fat cells. Although a variety of factors come into play, some studies show that moderate alcohol consumption can increase blood triglycerides by up to 53%, even if your triglyceride levels are normal to begin with. That said, other research has linked light to moderate alcohol consumption to a reduced risk of heart disease while linking binge drinking to an increased risk. 9. Add soy protein to your diet. Soy is rich in isoflavones, which are a type of plant compound with numerous health benefits. This is especially true when it comes to lowering LDL cholesterol. Particularly, soy protein has been shown to reduce blood triglyceride levels. Soy protein can be found in foods like soybeans, tofu, edamame, and soy milk. 10. Eat more tree nuts. Tree nuts provide a concentrated dose of fiber, omega-3 fatty acids, and unsaturated fats, all of which work together to lower blood triglycerides. Tree nuts include almonds, pecans, walnuts, cashews, pistachios, brazil nuts, macadamia nuts. Keep in mind that nuts are high in calories. A single serving of almonds, or about 23 almonds, contains 163 calories, so moderation is key. Most studies have found the greatest health benefits in individuals who consumed between 3 to 7 servings of nuts per week. Triglycerides are the most common type of fat in the body. The food that people eat, whether it is from animal or plant sources, can affect the levels of triglycerides in the blood. Diet and lifestyle factors have a major influence on your blood triglycerides. Choosing healthy, unsaturated fats in place of trans fats, decreasing your intake of carbs, and exercising regularly may help lower your blood triglycerides in no time. With a few simple lifestyle modifications, you can decrease your triglycerides and improve your overall health at the same time. If you are interested in videos like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.